water loss or transpiration. How the rate of water loss from plants changes when plants are outside in direct sun compared to when plants are in a protected environment. In the previous video, we identified that leaves in direct sun can be warmer than the air temperature and leaves under a plastic roof can be cooler than those in direct sunlight. When leaves outside are exposed to the warming effect of direct sunlight, the leaves will start to transpire or lose water. The rate that plants lose water is affected by the combination of four factors. Number one, the amount of direct sunlight, since it warms up the leaf faster than the air. If it is a cloudy day, then the leaf temperature will be similar to the air temperature, so the plants will not lose a lot of water. But if it is sunny, the leaf temperature will go up, causing an increase in the transpiration rate. Number two, when the air temperature starts to exceed 20 C, the plant will start to lose more water to cool itself. Number three, the amount of wind, since a higher wind speed will draw more dry air over the leaf surfaces, helping to draw water out of the leaves. And number four, the relative humidity, since it is easier for the leaves to lose water if the air surrounding the leaf has a low relative humidity like in a desert. When plants are grown in a protected environment, the amount of water that the plants lose will be significantly less than if the plants were exposed to the natural outdoors. This is due to the fact that the greenhouse or tunnel covering will cause the air temperature to increase, prevent the direct heating of the leaves, meaning that the leaf temperature will be similar to the air temperature, will block the wind, and cause an increase in the humidity levels inside. This means that it is impossible for plants to lose normal amounts of water when they are covered by plastic or net compared to when they are exposed to the natural outdoors. Plants must lose water during photosynthesis since losing water causes a chain of events each of which is critical to the growth and development of the roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and fruit. When the sun shines on the plant to drive photosynthesis, the sunlight increases the leaf temperature, causing the plants to lose water. When the leaves lose water, the roots absorb water from the soil and simultaneously absorb nutrients from the soil into the plant. When the water moves from the roots up the stem to the leaves and the fruit, the high rate of water flow causes the movement of nutrients from the roots to the flowers and fruit. The movement of water through the plant is a key support for photosynthesis, similar to how our blood moves through our body to support all of our cells and organs. When plants are under a greenhouse roof, the plants are receiving light to support photosynthesis but the rate of water movement through the plant has been significantly reduced compared to when plants are outside. The sunlight coming through the greenhouse covering helps drive photosynthesis, but the low movement of water through the plant in the greenhouse makes it more difficult for the plants to absorb the nutrients through the roots and move them through the plants to the leaves, flowers, and fruit, leading to nutritional deficiencies. Unfortunately, there is no easy way to measure the actual water loss or transpiration rate of a plant, and so consequently most people never even think about managing it. Instead, they will focus on managing what they can easily measure, like air temperature and relative humidity. This focus on managing only humidity levels instead of optimizing the actual rate of water loss of the plants is why most growers struggle to achieve great results in a conventional greenhouse or net house. It could be said that a grower who manages plants without focusing on transpiration would be like a doctor doing a checkup on our body and not measuring our blood pressure and pulse. In summary, if one is growing in the open field, yield and quality will be negatively impacted by extremes in plant temperature and excessive water loss especially when outdoor conditions are sunny, hot, windy, and dry. However, if one is growing under a stationary roof, the yield and quality will be limited by the reduction in light, CO2, plant temperatures, 
and insufficient water loss potentially resulting in nutritional deficiencies. The key to achieving high yields is to prevent both the losses from the excessive temperatures and rates of water loss outside with the losses that can result from insufficient rates of water loss in a conventional greenhouse, net house, or tunnel. In the next video, we will look at how yield, earliness, and losses from disease and insects are impacted by changes in the transpiration rate and level of water stress experienced by tomato plants grown outside in the open field, under a stationary roof, and under a retractable roof.